okay welcome back now what we'll do is we'll start off with uh, another routing protocol in the network layer so instead of dsr let's do the dsdv and then we'll do the dsr in the next video so we'll start uh, replacing the aodv routing protocol with the dsdv so and the network okay network scenario will be the same thing that we have used so one way to do that is like we have done in the previous session uh, using nsg and drawing all these things uh, and following the same procedure and except that in the parameters uh, in the wireless instead of aodv we can choose uh, dsdv that's one way and saving the tcl file the other way is to use the uh, tcl that we have already created so fine let's open the tcl or let's make a copy of this so we can use a file manager and make a copy of it or we can say uh, terminal command that is exp copy experiment 08 dot tcl we want it to copy it as 08 and we want to do the i mean the routing protocol we want to use is dsdv dot tcl okay this command will make a copy of it so we do ls and see that a copy of that should have been created yeah here's the file okay we have the file so let's open it uh, using gedit g8 experiment 08 in fact 08 and 09 are together that's the reason i'm using the same file name 08 and experiment 08 <coughs> dsdv.tcl i opened it in gedit and let's see for dsdv what are the changes we need to do let's look at the manual okay dsdv and look at the full forms also dsdv stands for destination sequence direct distance vector routing protocol fine and the only changes that we need to do is we need to change this line number 16 we need to call it as ds dv rest all or fine uh, the, in fact note that we are still using wi-fi in the mac layer and then let's change these also the trace and the NAMP files also so that they are not the old ones are not re uh, rewritten or written ds dv and the NAMP file also we want it to be ds dv and likewise the congestion window also we want it to be a ds dv and remember towards the end uh, we'll have uh, at the finish function the nam file will be invoked so just to, to make sure that uh, we are starting the dsd file so we'll go towards the end yeah here's the place nam is starting this is the place also we need to change it to ds dv yes four places we need to change it and we save this we have a new tcl file now we'll go to the <coughs> terminal ns experiment 08 tsdv dot tcl this will invoke the animator as usual we have the animator let's uh, maximize this a little bit okay we have the maximized version and then you can see 0 and 1 they are not in the ranges and uh, they should start moving so i'm increasing the step sizes i've increased the step sizes zero i started moving one also still they are not in radio range they're getting closer to two at a point they'll realize that they can use two as a relay yes they have realized that they can use two as a relay and they have started communicating i remember the routing protocol now look at the difference now they realize zero and one are within the radio range so that's the reason zero one have now directly started communicating instead of using two as a relay that's the difference here aodv hadn't done that and dsdv protocol this is doing this when it finds that without a relay also they can communicate they drop the relay and they directly communicate that's one difference that we can notice in visual simulation.
Of course, the, some of the finer details we will be able to see it through the throughput graph and like with the congestion window graph. Okay, they have got out of range. That is the reason no communication is happening. Okay, so we'll stop here. We'll get to the the awk file. So we'll, we have the trace file now. We should have the trace file. Yes, we have got the trace file. DSDV trace file. So let's run the awk. Awk we know we have a special awk now, which is for wireless. And we give the trace file that has been generated just now. DSVV TV dot trace. And all the statistics have come here. And you can see the throughput. Previous case we had a throughput of uh, I think 275. Now we see that throughput has slightly increased because of this protocol, because of DSDV. The one minor change we saw, at least we uh, saw through the animation was that in case it, the nodes 0 and 1 find a direct uh, path between them or radio propagation path between them, they have dropped the relay and started using directly. That's the reason probably they have got a better throughput than the other one. Fine. And then let's now plot it. GNU plot and GAT. Uh, throughput plot. So we can see that this was the previous one because of AODV. And this we can see this is because of DSDV. DSDV through acknowledgement. Let's forget about the acknowledgements. We're not worried about them. We're worried about the interaction more in the TCP throughput. Now we can see that the three TCP three TCP throughput because of DSDV has climbed up. It's climbed up and it has gone till uh, 375 or so. Fine. And then let's look at the congestion window. Plot. To do the congestion window, we'll have to do GNU plot GAT congestion window plot, not P. Yeah, here we can see previously this is how the congestion window was for uh, AODV and for DSDV this is how the congestion window is there. And you can see a slight discontinu uh, discontinuity over here. This is because initially when we saw the animation 0 and 1 were using 2 as a relay. So they were using 2 as a relay till this point and once they realized 0 and 1 can directly communicate with each other they dropped the relay and they directly started communicating. That's the reason you can see some discontinuity here. When they started directly communicating, you can see that the congestion window uh, grew very rapidly when compared to the other one. So pipelining, more pipelining was being done. That's the reason they got a better throughput. And then they went out of range, 0 and 1. And that's the reason they had to stop. And they then it dropped back to stop and wait. But it didn't succeed after that because they were out of range. Okay, these are the inferences that we can do, differences that you can see between AODV and DSTV. So, likewise, in the next video, let's look at the third routing protocol that is the DSR. So, we'll stop here. See you in the next video.